Right, okay guys, welcome to another look at some brand new Spectrum games. Now some of these came out I think last year and some of them came out this year. And I've got to say the title screen for this looks absolutely awesome. I don't know how many colours there are, I think it's using the, that fancy new kind of system. So this is called Ninja Gaiden Shadow Warriors. Um, made for ZX by Jerry Dark Horse. So yeah, let's crack on and see if it's any good or not. Uh, always helps if you position the, the mouse in the emulator window. Now I think Shadow Warriors was an arcade game, Ninja Gaiden. Oh, in fact, you know, I think, yeah, this is, I'm sure this is actually a proper arcade game. I'm thinking Ninja Gaiden as in the, the impossible uh, game in the, is it the PS2 and original Xbox, I think it was. Ah, bugger. I think it also came out for the Xbox 360. But yeah, I really like the... I love the graphics of this. And pressing fire button fires a sword and pressing up jumps. I don't know if you can... But these things are... Can you pick these up? Nah, I don't know what they are. No, you can press the spacebar to do anything. Nah, that just does that as well. But it's absolutely wonderful seeing getting to play brand new games for these systems. The Spectrum in particular seems to just be absolutely prolific, you know, in brand new games. Oh, 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 I've got to run away for that, looks quite nasty. Now this, uh, this game, ah, bugger, is only uh, 128 mode. If you try and play it yourself. Jump! Power up of some sort, I think. <laughs> I like that. It looks like we should be able to smash these crates, but it doesn't appear we can. Oops. Some more power ups. Let's see what they do. Hey! What on earth was that? Some kind of explosion, I think. Ah, bugger. Run! Does the spacebar do anything now? Nope. I don't know how you... Ah, right, you've got to duck down to destroy these things. Just about to see, is he possibly one of the easiest baddies I've ever actually <laughs> defeated? <laughs> Maybe too early to say. Oh! But this plays really, really well. Really super responsive. You got an energy bar of some sort? I can't actually see any. Ooh, almost. Let's try and defeat him. Whoa! Hey! Yeah, he is probably one of the easiest bad guys I've ever defeated in a game. But listen, that is uh, Ninja Gaiden. And that is on the spectrum. That is absolutely awesome. Right, let's take a look at something else. Right, this next one is called Abu Sinver Propagation. <laughs> Sounds interesting. No idea what it's going to be like. 
So Kemp's and Joyce like, and um, let's go for a run. It's a demo mode. Come on. Oh, hang on. It always helps if you put the cursor in. Zero. <laughs> Is that a backside? Either that's a pair of boobs. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> right, okay. Now, see, that was night lore. If you try and walk to the side, then it automatically moves you so you can go through the door, but these ones don't do that. Anyway, let's get this old guy through the door, if I can get through it. Come on. Up, up, there we go. Right, fire button jumps, and it's got the horrible controls where you, uh, you basically got to rotate and then push forward to move. Zoom, we've got to jump onto that. Ah, bugger. Because I had a C64, I was never... I didn't... <laughs> I didn't get to play many of these games. And so for that reason, I've never been a massive fan of them. Go, 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 go! Here we go! Right, so I need to go back out and let it respawn. Is that how that works? Mmm. I right, got no idea. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? So pulling down. Ah, okay, pulling down with fire button fires. Presumably at your backside. Come on, get up! Get up! Why can't I jump up there? Oh, there we go. Hey! Ah, real clear. You can only go out to doors where there's actually a door. I wonder if I can do anything here. Is there anything to pick up, possibly? Nope. That's the only way you can go. Anyway, that is whatever that was called. Abu something another propagation. A rather bizarre game. But anyway, right, let's take a look at something else. Right, this next one's called Baby Monkey Alba. A game by Javier Quaro. And it was written in 2017. Right, we want to go for Kemp's and Joystick. So it's number two. Baby Alba is very sad. Mom Monkey Maria has been kidnapped by someone and the baby monkey is alone. Help Alba find her mother, be careful on the ju jungle, solve the mystery and get mom and baby back together again. Who can resist? Press any key. <laughs> Love it. Ah oh, bugger, right, I've, I've instantly forgotten the controls, right, it's fire button to jump. It is very, very old school looking this one. But these kind of games, although they don't look like much, they're always great fun. What the hell harm there? Ah, oh, died. Right, down here. <coughs> Oh, there. Alright, okay, am I on a different screen now? I think I am. No, oh, wait a minute, I've just come that way, so hang on. Whoops, a daisy. You don't hear kids saying whoops a daisy anymore, do you? Let's 
go for one more go. It's actually quite good fun that. Right, number two, Kempston. Let's go. Press any key. Press a key, I should say. So what I really need to do is jump over the bird and that red thing at the same time. Oh, why is that? Why is that hitting me? I'm nowhere near it. I'm absolutely nowhere near it. <laughs> I don't know what I did there. I had no idea why I, I went straight down like that. That was silly. Mm, you see the collision detection is slightly off. Right, so what I want to do is jump over that. Hey, there we go, this time. Right, I need to... Like so. But this is this is excellent real old school platforming nonsense. It's ridiculously playable and that's what you want. <laughs> right, so how did I do this? Can I I thought I could maybe grab one of the vines, but you can't. And you can't. Can I land in the butterfly, possibly? Let's give it a go. This is a perfect example of gameplay. Substance over graphics, yeah, definitely. I like they've stolen a little uh, Donkey Kong sprite straight out of Donkey Kong 2. Oh. <laughs> ah, damn it. Anyway, that is. Excellent, that is really good fun. That is Baby Monkey Alba. Right, let's take a look at one last new game. Right, the last game I'm going to look at, guys, is called <coughs> Foggy's Quest. Released in 2017 by Rucksack Games. Right, this is a 1 to 8 one. There is a 48 key version as well, but I thought I'd go for the, the fancier one, so number 2 for Kempston. <laughs> Fire button jumps. Obviously the directional buttons move up and down. This reminds me a wee bit like there's a game for the Mega Drive called Pugsley. I don't know if anybody remembers it. And you kind of uh, controlled a little guy who looked not too dissimilar from this little dude. what the idea of the game is. Right, so I want to fall down there presumably and then leg it. Ugh. Hey. You can't seem to get through these little flashing doors. Hmm, the uh, sprite detection or collision detection is slightly uh, off. Let's go for number three again. Oh, did I just pick the wrong thing? Hang on, let's just reload the game. Right, number two I should have done. I can't go through there. 
Ah, see, that's even touching me. That's a wee bit annoying. Again, this feels, whoops, a daisy. This feels very much old school, but you know what? These were, these were the kind of games that we loved playing. Ah, damn it! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, listen, guys, that is Foggy's Quest. Um, so there's some decent games in that little list. So as usual, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you very much for watching.